We're here in a beautiful tall fescue lawn. And as you can see, there's a little bit of shade here. We've got some trees. And for Oklahoma, tall fescue works quite well in the shade. And so a lot of times homeowners like to plant tall fescue in shaded areas of their lawn. And usually what we're looking for is just to use a turf type tall fescue. There's many to choose from. Now you may already have grass in your lawn or in the fall, uh, you may be thinking about overseeding your tall fescue lawn with more tall fescue seed. So it's also the time to really start thinking about how we're gonna fertilize this, supply some nutrients to the grass so that it can grow and be healthy. So before we talk about that, let's think about how does tall fescue grow and how is it adapted to Oklahoma? Well, tall fescue is a cool season grass. And basically what that means is it prefers cooler temperatures. In Oklahoma, we can have quite warm temperatures during the summer. And so tall fescue does not necessarily do well in Oklahoma during our hot and humid summers. So a lot of times it will kind of die out during the summertime and we'll have to try to rejuvenate it or revitalize it in the fall and the spring. So with this cool season tall fescue, it really prefers our fall and springs in Oklahoma and does quite well during that time. And it's also the best time to fertilize the grass. And so what we're trying to do in the fall is we want to fertilize, give it the proper nutrients so that the tall fescue can grow, be established. And really what we're trying to do is, is the unseen part below the ground and we want to get some really deep and solid root growth during the fall, continue that through the spring, and then hopefully help it to survive the best that we can for the summer. So for these cool season tall fescues, you're going to see lots of root growth in the fall, lots of root growth in the spring, and really zero root growth in the summer. Actually, we'll see root death in the summer. So the, best, the, the better that we can do in the fall and spring to get it prepared for summer, the better it will be during our summers. So now that we're ready to fertilize the tall fescue, what do we need to do? Well, the first step always is do a soil test. And that's uh, really easy to do. We have lots of information on that. And you can send that to your local county extension office or to the university for soil testing. We get the results back and it's gonna give you how much nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium you would need to add uh, to your soil so that it would be a healthy uh, stand of turf grass or tall fescue. And so in this case, we've actually got pretty good phosphorus and pretty good potassium in our soils already. So really the only thing we need to do is add some nitrogen. So now we gotta go grab the spreader out of the barn, purchase some fertilizer and, and go to work. So, so which fertilizer do we need to buy? Well, we have several options here. And sometimes you'll see fertilizers that have uh, the three numbers on the bag all listed. So I've got a 13, 13, 13 here and a 17, 17, 17 here. And what this is telling me basically is this has 13% nitrogen, 13% uh, phosphate, and 13% potash. The 17, 17, 17 has 17% 17 of each. There's another bag I have here, it has a 464. So now I've got a little bit lower amount of nitrogen, lower, lower amount of nutrients altogether. So 4% nitrogen, 6% uh, phosphate, 4% potash. And then the, the last bag I have is actually a 4200. And so this has 42% nitrogen and it doesn't have any phosphorus or potassium or, or uh, phosphate or potash in it. And so for, for our soil test here, since we don't need the phosphorus or potassium, all we're going to do is put some nitrogen down. So I'm not going to pick these three today. I'm going to pick just the nitrogen source. Now, now even when we get narrow it down to that, it's still a little tricky. I can buy urea nitrogen, which is a 4600 formulation, and it's a 100% it's a quick release nitrogen source. What that means is when I put the nitrogen out today, it's going to quickly release over the next 30 days or so, and after that, it's pretty much all used up and gone. So for, for the fall and the spring here in this tall fescue, really what I want is a slow release nitrogen source. So this 4200 has this coating on it. It's called a polymer coated urea. And with that coating, what it does is it, is it slows down the release of the nitrogen over time. And so I could actually put out two pounds of nitrogen today with this slow release polymer coated urea, and it's slowly gonna release over the next 60, 75 days and just give a, a through a, through a kind of like a timed release, just give a little bit out over the next 60, 75 days. Whereas if I put out two pounds of just straight fast release urea nitrogen today, um, I would probably lose a lot of that 
either uh, to the atmosphere or to if it rains it would wash away and I would the plant would actually never be able to utilize that so what I want to do is pick a slow release source now that's a little tricky too but if you read that fertilizer bag when you buy it you'll see this product has X percent fast release and X percent slow release and what you're trying to do is get a, a pretty good slow release source so in this case I'm choosing polymer coated urea and so now I've got my spreader ready and I've already got it calibrated and I know with that my particular spreader I can set it to a particular setting on this one I can set it to, to setting D on this particular spreader I can put my fertilizer in and I walk evenly spaced through my yard watching how far I throw to the right how far I throw to the left and I'm going back and forth and I know I'm going to put down the right rate of fertilizer for this yard so uh, follow these tips you're going to have a nice healthy root growth for your tall fescue for the fall and spring help you to better survive next summer we hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.